Hi, I'm Leslie. And I'm Doreen. So this week it was experts to the rescue, sending in the forces to try to help these couples out and try to get them across that finish line. Everything is the push to get them to say yes. And we are starting off with... Katina and Olajuwon. I, I gotta say, you know, heads up there for Dr. Pepper calling him out when they were talking to him. He and not like and he says like, hey, well, I'm not in love or anything. And, and Katina tried to keep a perfectly straight face and just kind of looked over at him and was like, you could just see her brain going. And Dr. Pepper's like, you're not in love? You mean you're not in love yet? So and, push, and push, push. Yeah, and he tried to backpedal the whole thing. And I gotta say, I hate hate him now. I actually hate him. I mean, the only thing I could say, he was, he's gotten a little softer to me. He doesn't seem as egotistical. Oh. Like, like she's like crept up. Like she almost has, it used to be like 99% him dominant and 1% her. I feel like she's like at 10 or 20% now. Like he's giving her at least a say in things and he's not so domineering, but, and they seem like they're kind of doing okay. She is, uh, she is kind of dealing with him and kind of happy, but yeah, he's, He's a piece of work. I think he's hard and overwhelming. Um, I'm still not sure about the whole sex thing. I find that six weeks together or eight weeks together or however many weeks they are. And uh, I'm very confused about the sex thing because at one point they said, he said, it's me. I don't want to do that to her, to her something or other. And that she wanted to sleep with him. But then in this episode, she was the one that was saying, I can't do that until I have feelings. So who is it? Like, who's stopping it? Or is it both of them? Or have they done it and they're just not telling it? Like, what is something is really a little iffy there? Well, she told um, Dr. Pepper or Pastor Cal, one of them, because oh, I think it was Pastor Cal, you know, she, he says, is he doing anything? And she's like, well, yeah, like if I'm getting dressed, he'll come up and smack my butt and he'll kiss me on my neck. Don't how do you? The butt. I love yeah. that. <laughs> how do you like kiss somebody on the neck and be all romantic and then and and not ever and then get into bed at night and just like it's so this is such a bizarre thing. Yeah, it's so to bizarre. me, if he doesn't want to sleep with her, it's because he doesn't want to stay with her after decision day. And I, he's another one. He's starting to remind me of Jesse. And I don't know if they just find these people, but I start to feel like he's trying to say things that he thinks he should say, but he's not really coming from the heart. Whereas Katina is all about heart. I think she's 100% real yeah, with what she feels. And I think, you know, I definitely hope that on decision day, he says yes, and she says, hell no. Yeah, when that That's what I, I want her to I know. do. It's terrible that we get to that point where we're just looking to get. Oh, get she deserves movies. so much better as well. Yes, she does. <sighs> okay, the next couple we need to talk about is Noi and Steve. I don't like Noi anymore. I've yes, got to say. it's like been a role reversal now. It used to be Noi was like head over all the things, and now Steve's the kind of like he's always been the logical one, clear headed. He's the one really into her, and she's like backpedaling and getting him and doesn't want to live together after. Like, yeah, what? I think, you're already married, living. Like, what? Like, I think he's still logical, um, without you know, without a doubt. She is, you know, and Dr. again, Dr. Pepper and Pastor Cal, they checked in. And they were kind of talking like, you know, you need to ask him about the financial security. That just dumbfounds me. Like, how, how does this not happen yet? <laughs> exactly. Still, how every week you... we talk about this and yet they never have the conversation. Like, right. what? And you're fighting. You're fighting because I want you to get a job and this and that. And so I was really happy that she finally asked him about it. And they were doing their spreadsheet on the computer or whatever it was they were doing. They didn't let us know. Like, he didn't say, look, I have plenty of money to get us through X amount of time. He just kind of said, I'd like to keep being an entrepreneur. And what I thought was very, very interesting is when he says, you know, well, when do you see, like, having kids? And she says, oh, within a year. And he's like, okay. And she goes, you're okay with that? He goes, yeah, that's fine. Suddenly she was like, like, all happy again. Like, yeah, it's going to be my baby. husband. Means, I don't know. They're just, I can't read them. And her posting on social media all the things, I'm like, oh, my God. Oh my God. But the one thing I could say is that I do have compassion for her because when you think about if I can put myself in that position, if I was grow if I had grown up with nothing and I was always worried about financially where that next thing, that's a big thing. And, and I commend her for at least, um, being honest about that. And, Agreed. and, and, and I just don't know why he's not taking her out of her misery and saying, don't worry, I have a plan. Like by this day, it'll be working or I'll have this, like, why is he like just well i think he started to yesterday i think the cameras don't want us to know again 
For all we know, he's loaded and he's waiting to see if she yeah, loves we're, we're, him before we're, we're he's putting that in. Yeah, I mean, clearly he's set for a time period and I didn't even know he had the entrepreneurial thing going. So for all we know, he's day trading and killing it, you know, and they're not letting us know that. So I think in the end, that's going to come out as a big that's surprise. The big mystery and I think there. if she says no, like I'm hoping it's almost like he's a prince. Like if she says no, he's going to go, okay, well, you know what? I'm sorry you didn't love me for me. I had the cash or, and the, uh, vice versa. Like, and it Guess would what? be sad if then she finds out and kind of changes her tune and he'd be like, oh, no, thank you. Exactly. Oh, thank and you. so I'm wondering if, you know, if that is it, because I think he is financially fine. But he should say to her, listen, her I am life. good. Yeah. I've got savings and I'm it's... good for two years. Like, even if you're good for a lifetime, just say I'm good for two years and I can contribute Something what we because need. because she's had a hard you know, the difficulties yes. with this growing up. So that's not, I mean, I have compassion for that. For I'm her. hoping next week he says something. Yeah, any week now, any week now, stringing us along. All right. So in previous episodes that we've discussed, numerous times I have said, why are you people experts? Because a lot of the matching that we see makes no sense to me. Maybe all you people think that it makes perfect sense. But a lot of times we've kind of called them out. And I need to call them out again. In the episode yesterday, they talked about... We are going on to... Mark and Lindsay. And in the episode, um, it shows when Mark was being interviewed for the show, right? Way before he was ever chosen. Like, they go through all these interviews. And he's talking to Pastor Kyle. And Mark was visibly upset. And he very specifically said, I do not want a wife like my mother who yelled at my father all of the time. I know for sure I do not want that. And so then they come along and say, Lindsay, it'd be great for you. And did they just not do due diligence? I mean, to me, I'm thinking you interview friends, you interview family. You could, you could have picked that up with her within 10 minutes of talking right? her that she's like a little bit. Yeah. So that's a shame. That is a shame that they, again, the experts totally missed their mark on that one. Yeah. And so I keep asking again, please give me a shot because I am two for two so far setting up people who get married and stay together. Just saying. Um, noted. Noted. <laughs> But, you know, uh, I would like them to work things out. Lindsay, I get her point. I get her being sad and scared and hurt um, and needs to say things. But I also don't think Mark is hearing her. I think anytime she says, you're not giving me what I need, you know, he kind of doesn't make her feel secure. And I don't see this working. I, I see big no's. I don't. I think she, day. like maybe some of the others, probably needed some intense therapy before she went into this uh, Married at First Sight project. But, you know, they're in it now, so they will give it a shot. Okay, on to Jasmina and Michael, who I thought had a chance. I thought things were, like, really kicking along, going good. But, you know, I'm happy their communication's going well, and that communication is, I think, 90% of success in relationships. Wonderful. Definitely needed. However, Michael... I mean, come on, you're the man, dude. You got to do a little romance, you know, come up behind her, hug her, kiss her neck, put on some dim lighting, you know, put on some nice music. So, <laughs> of course, start us, dancing. Call, call us. Call us. We're professionals here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, dance with her. And then where you can just look at her and give her a passionate kiss and make her feel butterflies. She's feeling nothing because you're, you're putting yourself in the friend zone, dude. Like, you seriously got to give a little romance. And, and you can I don't see those her. experts are just, like, so desperate. You're like, you've got to do something. If we don't have anything happening, this is a dud. And they're, like, pleading with them both. Just, like, try. Just, like, a little peck, a little romance, something, you know, because we got to spark this or it's a done deal because neither of them feeling anything. I guess he well, feels Well, no, I think like, Michael put Jas I'm with Jasmina. If you're not, like, making me feel romantic and, and, and making something. me feel attracted you to got, you. Like, how long, how long do they have left? Two weeks. Oh, decision time, day is time. in two weeks. Yeah, she so, will not say yes without any kind of something. You gotta have something. If you can't stir up the butterflies in the stomach, you're not stirring nothing. Yeah, just saying. yeah. So I'm I'm not feeling hopeful about them either. I don't know. I don't think this this whole crew is not gonna add much to our uh, divorce. It's gonna increase our divorce rate in the United States. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah, pretty much. This will be a five for five no go. Yeah. No and Steve have a shot if I she don't even opens think up them I don't know. anymore. And I thought for sure they were my go to that was gonna carry on, but I don't think so. Well, stay tuned. Anyway, so if you like this episode, please subscribe. Comment down below any insights you, you might have that we've missed. We love your comments. Yes, and we will see you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye.